beginning next month, you will no longer be able to have a Jet magazine in your hand because the magazine will no longer print uh, a hard copy. They will be going uh, largely digital. Joining us right now to discuss this shift is Desiree Rogers. She is the CEO of Johnson Publishing Company, the parent company of Jet Magazine, and of course, Ebony. And she joins us via Skype from Chicago. Uh, and Desiree, I've been uh, talking about this on the radio and also tweeting it. A lot of people are certainly sad uh, to hear this, but the reality is the business has changed, the industry has changed, the world has changed. Good morning, Roland. So good to speak to you via Skype here in Chicago. It is a different era for, for uh, Jet, but one of the things as we look back, we figured out that when Mr. Johnson created it, he wanted you to have the news right away. He wanted to be able to bring that right to the people, and that's why he did his digest version where we pro provided that information weekly. And so now with our new app, we will be able to provide this information weekly with daily updates. First of all, you're going to print one issue a year, a best of issue, and you're going to a paid app. It begins next month. Uh, how much is that app going to cost uh, in terms of that monthly fee? It will be the same as our subscriptions that we have today, which is about 20 bucks. But remember, you're going to be getting one issue a week plus daily uh, updates. So we think it's a really good deal. You'll have videos, you'll have 3D. Imagine seeing the beauty of the week in 3D. The app will be $20 a year. And also, Correct. so this, this one issue a year, is it going to be a year-end issue or the middle of the year? Have you decided when that's going to be published? You know, we haven't, but it'll probably be the end of the year, I'm thinking. We have seen a shift in the industry. Life magazine used to always publish. Now they no longer publish, only special editions. And we also see other magazines losing ad pages, circulation dropping, more people going to tablets and smartphones. Uh, clearly, all of that had to play a role in this decision and also printing costs and people don't think about the cost to actually mail the magazines as well right so all of those things that played an issue if you start with the consumer and if you start with mr johnson's premise of wanting to get the news out there right away this really is the way to go we're going to make it simple we're going to make it gorgeous we want people to certainly sign up for this app i'm very excited about what we're going to be able to bring to the forefront and i really think that this is the first weekly african-american magazine app and he would be delighted to be another first I want to bring us the folks here we have editor-in-chief of the national newspaper publishers association george curry also political commentator author and economist dr julian malvo and syndicated columnist and pulitzer prize winner leonard pitts uh, i want to uh, and george uh, look you work with nnpa uh in terms of its publications uh still a hard copy but the reality is even for black papers uh they have to embrace the digital world because the world has changed your thoughts on this decision by jet magazine well, as a person who grew up on Jet, of course I'm going to miss it a whole lot. I guess the question I have is certainly is since you're going digital, with the, especially with young people, uh, shouldn't you think more about the daily? I mean, even daily newspapers are considered old. So I'm wondering how much demand is still for a weekly in today's news environment. Well, one of the things that we mentioned is that we will be updating it daily. And so... You know, if you know Jet, you know that, you know, the stories tend to be a little bit longer, lots of pictures. Uh, we will be able to bring those pictures to life with video. And so we think by, by having a weekly, because remember, right now Jet is every three weeks. So we think we're getting back to our roots by doing a weekly.